I define the circle. How many circles can be drawn passing through one point? Infinite. If I have infinite circles can be drawn passing through one point. How many circles can be drawn passing through two points like A and B? First, we have to, do, to measure the distance between A and B. If the distance between A and B is 6 cm, then half the distance of AB equals what? Equals 3 cm. Then, the question, how many circles can be drawn passing through A and B if the radii is more than half AB? The radius of the circle is more than half AB. How many circles? Infinite. How many circles can be drawn passing through A and B if the radii are less than half AB? Zero. No circles can be drawn passing the through A and B if the radius is less than half AB. But if the radius equals half AB sharp, then we can draw one circle. Okay? This is about one point, this is about two points. What about if we have three points? If we have three non Collinear points. Non-collinear means not on the same straight line. So we can draw one point, one circle. How many circles can be drawn passing through three collinear points? Collinear means on the same straight line, like these three points. No circles can be drawn passing through three linear points. Then, if we have two points, how can we draw a circle passing through any two? Now, in identifying the circle, we have to draw a circle. How can we draw a circle passing through two points, like these two points, A and B? To draw a circle passing through A, B, first, we have to measure the distance between A and B. And determine the midpoint of A and B. Draw an axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry means a straight line which is perpendicular to AB and bisecting B. We have to use our compass. We have to fix our compass for any point on this straight line, like this point. And when we fix the other, the pencil on B and moving our compass from B to A, it will draw a circle. If we move the, our compass from upper part to lower part, it will, it will draw another circle also passing through A and B. So we can draw an infinite set of numbers, an infinite circles passing through A and B if the radius is greater than half A. What about if our circle, its radius is equals half A B? You will find the center, the center of the circle will be here. It will be in this form. And when circling the, our compass, it will make a circle in this form. Okay? And the, we can draw one circle only. What about if we have three collinear? 
linear points. There is no circuit can be drawn passing through these three points at the same time. So there are zero circuits can be drawn passing through these three points. What about if the three points are non-collinear? Like this one, and this one, and this point. The same way of two points. First, we have to join these two points. Then, join the other two points. By drawing from the midpoint an axis of symmetry, by drawing from this point, we move this point to be here, like that. This is the midpoint. these two axes of symmetry intersected at this point. So this point is the center of the circle, which is L. Then, when fixing our compass, here, and our pencil on B, or A, or C, as you are looking now, it will draw one circle. There is only one circle, one and only one circle can be drawn passing with these three points. Thanks.